Hi everyone, today we are going to explain psychronic and diachronic linguistics. First of all, you should know what these terms are. Basically, these terms are nothing but just two approaches to study a language. Well, as you have understood that these are two different approaches of studying a language. Now, it is the time to explain it. Well, look at the term psychronic linguistics. Basically, this term comes from a Greek word. The word sign means together and chrono means time. The study of language at a particular uh, period of time or it is the study of how a language is spoken by a speech community at a particular point of time. Simply, it means that psychronic linguistics study a language at a particular point in time and without considering its historical development or changes over time. I think you are not getting the point. Let me tell you in simple words. As you know, with the passage of time, any language changes, like its grammar, phonology, and vocabulary, etc. But you try to study a language and you avoid its development and changes. But just start study of a language in a particular point of time that how it is spoken. It could be in the past or it could be in the present. For example, if you start studying English language and you just start it in this time and not consider its development, that how it was developed or changed from old to middle and English language or we can say that simple modern English language. So this approach is known as psychronic linguistics. Well, so what is diachronic linguistics then? Uh, basically, this term is also from a Greek word. The word dia means true and chronos means time. So diachronic linguistics is also called historical linguistics. You need to remember that. And it is self-explanatory if we call it historical linguistics. So it means that it has to do with history. Well, it is the opposite of psychronic linguistics because in this approach we study the historical development of a language. In this approach, linguists study that how a language is changed through different periods of time. As you know that a language changes with the passage of time and when we start studying a language that how that language has changed and developed with the passage of time. So this approach is called diachronic linguistics. In simple words, you can say diachronic linguists look at the historical context of a language, including its origin, evolution and historical relationship with other languages. These were the differences between psychronic and diachronic linguistics and I hope you have learned it so. If you have enjoyed this lecture, please do not forget like and subscription to my channel and see you next time. Bye bye.